So you're in an accident and your airbag goes off and you just think your car's totaled. Well, that's not necessarily true and there's why. Hey, I'm Todd from Johnson Auto Body and today we're gonna talk about airbags. Every car these days got them. There's a lot of safety things in a car, but that's the big thing that everybody sees when they get in a big wreck is the airbags deployed. And there's front airbags, there's side airbags, there's ones in seats, there's ones in the roof. They're everywhere in a car. Seat belts these days even deploy, headrests that deploy. There's all sorts of crazy stuff in cars. There's a lot of things to check out when that are connected to that. First thing we gotta do is a computer scan. That'll tell us what's going on and all that. What It'll show what things have been deployed. But on top of that, the manufacturers have other things that we're supposed to check out. And every car is different. They all tell you what you're supposed to look at every time. So if you're in a front end collision, there's probably gonna be front sensors that are blown or impact sensors that are blown. If it's in the side, they're in the doors or the pillar. They're all over the car. And then those, those go off. They tell a module to, to deploy whatever airbags it thinks is gonna be the safest thing for you. Sometimes you'll get in an accident and nothing will deploy, but like a seat belt or something will go. Sometimes all sorts of stuff goes off. It's really up to the car and it's supposed to be smarter than us or do what is supposed to be the safest thing for you. So if it thinks the airbags are gonna help you from being injured, it'll deploy them. If it thinks it'll hurt you, because if anybody's been ever hit by one of those, they hurt, <laughs> then it won't deploy them. The sensors that are impacted will have to be replaced with a deployment, as well as most of them, if not all, I, I don't think I've come across any that don't recommend you replace the module that controls that. And that's usually located in the center of the car, like under the center console in there. And then of course, you're gonna have to inspect all the wiring that was that was to those things. So like, so say your airbag goes off in your steering wheel. Well, the other thing that goes wrong is the clock spring that goes from, you know, that gets burned up. When those deploy, these are like rocket fuel shooting off and it burns up the clock spring. And that can happen with any of them. So all the wiring's gotta be inspected really closely. And then of course, the airbags themselves have to be replaced. Some of them, if they're just a steering wheel, then this is, this is fairly simple. Some of them, the passenger side ones are gonna be in a dash. So a dash, a whole dash cover, they have to be replaced in a lot of them. Or the seats, they'll blow out the side of a seat. You gotta get a new seat cover, new seat foam, all of that. If they come down from the curtains, they're all hiding behind the headliner. And when they deploy out of there, it creases the headliners and all that's got to be replaced. And then the seat belts, there's two sides of them. So you got to check and see which side of those get replaced. So the buckles themselves will lock when they're deployed. And then the latch on the other side where that buckles into, that a lot of them will collapse and tighten that belt even further. So you got to make sure that you check all of that stuff, make sure it's all right. Other than that, you know, once we get it all back together, we do more computer scans after everything's been checked out and replaced, reprogram what's got to be reprogrammed and, uh, and confirm that everything's communicating properly and then get you back together and back on the road. If you have any other questions about any of that stuff, feel free to give us a call or swing by here at Johnson Auto Body.